Alright, motherfuckers, this is Master Marks, and I'm coming back with another motherfucking New Year's goddamn love 2020, 2020, 2020, video. Alright, I hope y'all had a ha happy fucking New Year's Eve and y'all had a good time. Y'all got some consistent cat. And y'all had fun. Y'all enjoyed yourselves. Shout out to the AEW pack smokers in the chat, in the live chat, and in the comment section, and the motherfuckers watching this video. Today's video is simply titled, What Does Triple H Have Planned for WWE in 2023? What does he fucking have planned? What, what's he got? Let's see. Roman is not expected to lose the championships. Because nobody has enough clout or enough strength to beat him. Uh, Cody Rose is not winning the championship yet. Shocker. Uh, maybe The Rock comes back. We don't know. Possibly. So what, what's Triple H's plan? Because it don't really seem like there's a lot that he can do. I mean, you have a storyline with uh, LA Knight and Bray Wyatt. Or should we say, because LA Knight's going to not be in that storyline too, story too long. Uh, so you have the Bray Wyatt storyline. It's a possibility to do something with that. Um, Cena came back. We don't know if Cena's going to be at WrestleMania. You got The Rock possibly coming back. We all know that Matt Card... Uh, what is his name? Cardell? Something like that. I don't fucking know what his name is. Cordell, like YBN Cordell or whatever the fuck his name is. Um... You got him coming back, possibly Nick Aldis signing, possibly Mickey James signing, Tr Chelsea Green signing. I mean, I don't really know what Triple H's plan going to be is going to be, but I hope it's something. I hope he got something planned because I'm gonna be honest with y'all, AEW pack smokers and the motherfuckers in the chat. I am not watching no fucking WWE Raw or SmackDown, and the two champions is Ricochet and Johnny Gargano. I'm just not gonna do it because I ain't gonna believe it. I'm not going to believe it. I am not going to believe it unless they let either one of those guys win to get squashed by a bigger guy. I'm just not going to believe it. And I mean, guys who are guys who are smaller, they can win the belts. They can win the championships. But here's the problem. The guys who are smaller need to have charisma. They need to be able to talk on the mic. The reason why a guy like Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero could get over and have the fans going crazy for him is because he could talk on the mic and he had charisma. Eddie Guerrero, to be honest with you, was not the greatest champion ever. He wasn't. It was a good storyline for a, 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 a baby face, um, you know, happy story, underdog story. It's a good storyline for that. But further than that, it just him holding the belt longer than three, four months, five, six months wouldn't make sense. Now, I don't see that with Johnny Gargano and Ricochet because those two guys have no charisma. They can't talk on the mic. They can't talk in front of a crowd. They're not funny. They're not charismatic. They have no style. They're not really cool at all. I don't. What, what, what's going to happen? I, I. You know what? AW Pack Smokers. I wouldn't be surprised if. All of the people who are stars in WWE get treated like jobbers. Get treated like jobbers. Like you have a guy like Roman Reigns do the job to fucking Akira Tozawa or some bullshit. Cause that that's what that's where Triple H is really at. I mean, he's not going to do anything that's of greatness when it comes to that. He's just going to uh send a bunch of young talent in there with no hype who can't talk in the mic just yet and aren't ready for a big crowd. <sighs> Have a bunch of jobbers be the heavyweight champion and do whatever, whatever. And I know a lot of people probably thought I was going to talk about Sasha Banks today. I don't give a fuck about no damn Sasha Banks. She's gone from WWE. Good riddance. So long. Uh, Ariba Derchi and whatever the fuck that means. Uh, goodbye. You're gone. We don't care. Um, so, in, in all honesty, man, like I don't, 
I really don't know what the fuck Triple H is going to do besides bury all the good talent, the guys who can talk on the mic. I mean, he might give a guy like L.A. Knight a chance, but maybe in Triple H's head, he'll realize that, well, um, even though these smaller guys and gals are decent, the stars are where it really fucking matters. That's why when Ronda Rousey lost her title, she didn't lose it again to Liv Morgan. She lost it to Charlotte because when Liv Morgan had the title, people weren't fucking watching. It was boring. She got booed. They had a, a weird end to one of her matches that caused the fans to not like that shit. And it kind of turned on her. Now, if Triple H could have did something with that. He could have made her a heel. She's sexy. She could be a sexy heel. She's an attractive woman. She She's able to do that. But Triple H didn't fucking do that. He gave the belt back to Rhonda. Rhonda is Rhonda, whatever, you know. She's a tough gal, is Rhonda. I don't really give a fuck about Rhonda, to be honest with you. And now they brought Charlotte back to hold the belt. We all know that Charlotte's not going to hold that belt for long because Charlotte is one of those champions that she's gotten into the point in the business where she's a transitional type of wrestler when it comes to the belt. She don't hone it for a long period of time or a dominant period of time or anything like that. Charlotte is just trying to get her father's record, be done, go have some little half Mexican, half flare babies. That's what she's trying to do. Shout out to the Mexicans in the motherfucking chat. Shout out to the motherfuckers from Mexico and all the Spanish people in the fucking chat. Shout out to all those Boricuas out there as well, too, all the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans. But that's what Charlotte Flair really wants to do. So they do a transitional championship thing with her. I don't know who's going to win the championship off of Charlotte. We don't know. We don't know what the fuck is going to happen because, you know, Triple H has a fresh start. It's the new year. I would hope that he could come up with something that's worth something. And I hope he don't lazy book and just make Bianca Belair versus um, Charlotte for both belts on the line. Because that's very lazy. Um. That's very fucking lazy. That's not a good idea. It's probably the worst idea he could go with. But in all honesty, I don't see Triple H doing anything of greatness. We don't really know what the fuck's going to happen in the dirt sheets, you know, besides like zero news and shit. They be having the right shit. But fuck Sean Ross Sap. You know, I already know how the fuck I feel about that clown ass fucking motherfucker. Like a lot of the dirt sheets and the people who report on that shit, they don't even know what the fuck going on. They don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Maybe Triple H then finally smarted up and stopped letting people figure out what the fuck is going on and just kind of change shit up. But let's be very cautious of Triple H changing shit up because he might have Rhea Ripley beat Roman Reigns for the heavyweight championship, which would be absolutely embarrassing to the male division of wrestling. But whatever. Some people will love it. TNA loved it. Uh, I wouldn't be a fan of it. Intergender, intergender matches. I am not really a fan of... Uh, because I just can't take it serious. Like, I don't... The, the, the world is so fucking weird. Like, neckbeards are weird as fuck. They enjoy intergender matches. Intergender match... I think it's intergender. Yeah. So they enjoy male versus female fucking matches. But they bitch and moan and complain about women who beat on... Or women who get beat on by men. Or women who beat on men. Like, that's the same fuck... That's political. We're not getting into that. At the end of the day, Triple H is not going to do absolutely anything worth anything besides make a bunch of jobbers the champion and send all the stars to the mid card. This has been Master Marks. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. Tell us if you hate us. Tell us if you love us. Tell us if you are excited for 2023 with Triple H. Tell us if you're excited to go watch AEW Dynamite. I know you're not. At the end of the day, fuck Triple H. Fuck Tony Khan. Fuck AEW. I'm out this bitch. The richer that you give by yourself, no one can tell you how much money you can put in.